here at the Department of Geography today with Naho Muramichi. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Hi, I'm a lecturer here at the Department of Geography and my research interests are in the politics of water resources management. In particular, I look at conflict and cooperation over international transboundary river basins. So these are like the Nile or the Danube, rivers that are shared by two states or more. And if you look at this map, you'll see that we have quite a few of them in the world, over 250. And the fact that some 145 states share these rivers means that the management of water resources is not a trivial one. My research looks at how water is shared or not. And do states fight over water? Well, a lot of analysts have warned of water war between states where acute military action is taken. But empirically, states don't fight over water. There has never been water war. Instead, states have chosen to engage in some sort of rulemaking. So, for example, in South Africa and Lesotho, they signed an agreement for water transfer with the Lesotho Highlands Water Project. In other parts of the world, like in the Mekong in Southeast Asia, Laos, Thailand, Cambodia and Vietnam have signed an agreement in which sustainable development is the main principle of how to share water and use water. And do these agreements bring about better water management? Well, yes and no. Um, the tricky thing is that in the current global political system, states have to negotiate, sign and implement these agreements voluntarily. There is no such thing as the world police or the world government that can make states do what they should do. So the, there is tension over the fair allocation of water or how best to allocate water resources. And the fact that power relations start playing an important role in the negotiation implementation of these agreements shouldn't be overlooked. So even though there is no water war, uh, there is conflict and cooperation coexisting. So our time is almost up. Uh, do you have any last comments? Well, today I've talked about one part of water resources management um, and also from a social science perspective as well. Obviously, there are physical science perspectives um, that exist. So at the Department of Geography, we offer expertise, international expertise from both physical and human geography perspective, so I'd encourage you to take a look at the website, and we also offer training in MSC Water Science and Governance. Thank you very much. Thanks.